semifinal number two here in the Women's Lacrosse Championship for the Northeast Conference. It is the two versus the three matchup as Mount St. Mary's takes on the Colonials of Robert Morris. Right side of the offense for Salerno. Gets a shot off. That one missed as well. So the Mount has had a couple of opportunities and one here that they will capitalize on the goal from Caitlin Larimore. Here's another shot and another goal. That time it's similar. Set up well, though. Partner, good job. Well, there it is on cue. I mean, she is really efficient. She knows how to find the spots to get wide open looks. Shot here by Diaz. Skipped one past Pence. And how about this start for Mount St. Mary's? They have to be thrilled with it. And let's see how they do it against the physical markers of Robert Morris. You see the bump, but right away, one on one from the outside and bounce it home. Everyone sets up, left side of the goal. This one by McTavish goes off of her own stick and in the net. Had a little bit of a lane, dumped it out in front, and it deflected off McTavish. Here's a shot by Larimore, who sneaks it in the far side post and gives Mount St. Mary's a 5-2 advantage, second one of the day for That's Caitlin Larimore. Shot down low, McTavish with another save, but there's a deflected goal by Trombetta. Mount St. Mary's head coach B.J. Lucy, that first half really a tale of two tempos. You talk about a 4 nothing lead, you get out to really quickly, and then Robert Morris established themselves. What did you think you did well early? Um, I think we really just took it to him. We were, um, you know, moving the ball really well, and, you know, everyone on the field was being a threat and getting a lot of shots off, which is what we wanted. How about the play of Caitlin Larimore? It seemed like she was very active out front. Um, we call her Larry. Larry's done um, a really nice job coming in the end of the season, and today um, we knew that she'd have a hot hand, and so we went the ball in her stick. Coach, thanks. Good luck in the second half. Thank you. That first half, as I s just spoke about with Coach Lucy, was really a battle of two tempos. Both teams trying to establish their own, one for the first half, and then you guys picked it up a bit. What did you see as the turning point there in the first half? I think that we started to really commit to our ride, and we were starting to get the turnovers in the defensive end that we really need. Uh, Pence is coming up with some key saves, and we're getting it finally through their ride, which I think is really strong as well. I think right now we just need to put the ball in the back of the net. Now when you have a player like Colleen O'Donnell, what do you do to get her involved? I, I think we give her the ball and we let her try to create. I think we do that with Sinceri as well. She's got great vision. She knows where to find Colleen. I think right now we're just really out of our rhythm. Uh, we, we need to keep the ball hot. We need to start finding the breaks. I think we've got some great opportunities, but, you know, their keeper's doing a great job. Coach, good luck. Thank you. Trying to spin. Gets an opportunity off. Pence was right there. Will be a whistle, however. I think this is going to result in a free shot opportunity for Mount St. Mary's. And it will. From the far side coming in is Price. Goes down low and gets the goal. 27 goals combined in that first game. Here's another one for Nicole Price. She's in these situations. She knows the quick inside step right about here where she makes the move around the corner, and it's that first step across the mouth of goal. That's Semler going low and getting the goal. Rufalo is the decoy. She puts her arms in the air and points to her head. Well done. She drew two defenders out by a couple spins from Mount St. Mary's because of that move. Rufalo drew two. You saw her on the near side of the screen, and then Semler just had the opportunity to turn opposite side, the fake and the bounce. Played it right to herself. Here's Price, upfield, goes low, gets the goal. Four goals for Nicole Price and a 13-7 advantage. Coach, at the half, we spoke about what your team needed to do better. What did they do to put together that complete second? I think defensively we, um, you know, adjusted to what they were doing, and it was something that we knew that coming into the game that they were going to try to do. And on the offensive end, we really just adjusted to what they were doing defensively, and I thought our girls read their defense really well and exposed their weaknesses and finished well. Now to play the host school in the title game and Quinnipiac getting the chance to play on their home turf, knowing that now you're the first three seed to ever win a game in this tournament, what's that like? You know, we're just excited. We're going to enjoy this for a little bit, and then we'll think about Quinnipiac later this evening. How about the play of Nicole Price? Uh, four goals today and assist as well. Seemed to really have that right wing under her control. Yeah. Nicole Price really has stepped up for us late in the season. You know, she scored the winning goal again for us against Sacred Heart, and, you know, she had an awesome second half. She just took it to the hoop, and we can't ask for anything more from her. Coach, congrats. We'll see you Sunday. Thank you. We'll invite Nicole Price over as well now on the PAC Network, the PAC Cast, and Northeast Conference. Dot TV 13 to 8 the final score in favor of Mount St. Mary's you get four goals today in addition to an assist what were you able to do to really make an impact on this game um, I think uh, I knew 
you know, we had the ability to win the game, and I think we just needed to step up and kind of kick it into gear and get going. The difference between the first half and the second half where you guys really were able to put goals on the board in that second at eight? Uh, I think we just were uh, able to remain composed and kind of uh, settle it down, and uh, we knew what we had to do, and we just kind of got it done. The combination of you and Jen Semler seems to have been a really good one for your squad this year. What about the chemistry between you two makes you so lethal? Um, I think uh, since we've been playing together the whole the whole season pretty much, I think each game we're getting better and better at kind of understanding each other and how we play. So it's just becoming easier to play together. Nicole, thanks. Good luck in the final. Thank you. That's Nicole Price. Four goals today in addition to an assist. That's a win for Mount St. Mary's in the NEC semifinal of women's lacrosse. This is the Pat Cast on NortheastConference.tv.